Hi guys, the video you're about to watch was pre-recorded this morning. Uh, this is an update uh, on the shocking, absolutely shocking service that I've received from um, game.co.uk, that high street computer game shop. Do not shop there. Do not give me your money. You will not believe what they've said to me. Uh, anyway, we'll come to that. But anyway, I'm going to show you the original video that I shot the, this morning. Uh, and I've calmed down a lot since then, honest. So anyway, here we go, here's the original video. Hey, 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 it's me, OG Duffy. Back with, I'm, I'm not quite sure what this is gonna be yet, but those that watch the channel know I recently had an experience with Arcade 1UP Barstools. If you haven't seen it, there's the thumbnail there. Go and check it out before watching this. So, in a nutshell, as you know, the Barstools arrived, both bar tops, which have got the graphics on for the arcade uh, game, etc., were slashed both. Okay? Not one, but both. Now, the odds of that were very, very minuscule. So I packed them up, I sent them back. Now, because I'm in the UK, these have been uh, given to me via game, uh, game.co.uk. Uh, I've been in touch with them, uh, and the idea was I sent them back. Uh, they have been collected by Courier, and I've got all the evidence of that. And uh, I wanted a refund. So you know, I got a week off work and uh, a knock on the door today and guess what's being delivered? Yes, you know it, these. So the doorbell goes, I go to the door and <laughs> the same delivery driver that dropped them originally and collected them originally had a bit of a smirk on his face, said delivery, drops these and literally does a bunk, off he goes. Now, what the, I do know that these packaging is exactly the same as the ones I bought, uh, sent back because this brown tape that was like this, uh, I put both boxes together. So that side's blank, and as you see, that side, don't the camera picks up. But I'm, so I know it's exactly the same packages I sent. So I'm assuming, game, I've opened them up and replaced the bar tops, I'm guessing. But you know what? I haven't got an awful lot of faith at the moment. So let's go and do these unboxing and let's take a look live and find out if I'm disappointed or if they've actually sent and rectified the product or what. Oh, I don't know what's going on. Let's go check them out. Let's go. I'll be honest, as I've said, I'm not, I don't know. I don't know what to expect here. I really don't. Right, I'm gonna do them, undo them the same way I sent them off. Just at the top here so that I can lift out and see what's happened. Either that or they've completely replaced with new products. Oh, God knows, I really haven't got a clue what's going on here. I might have to fast forward this section. Okay, as you can see there, this is obviously the Street Fighter 2 one. Get that out of the box. It's definitely in here. Right. Tell you something, right? I've got a week off work, so I've done a bit of game hunting and that this week. And shot some videos and stuff. Right, here we go. This is the Street Fighter 2 one. The flap is unopened, so they obviously haven't really sealed. Let's open inside, let's take a look. Let's see if they've rectified this or not. That all important moment of truth. So, right, all right, look. That slash mark on the paper is exactly, exactly the same paper. What are you playing at game.co.uk? Look at that, that's exactly the bloody same. What a monkey outfit they are. Yeah, seriously, look. The camera's picking that up, I hope. My God, this is just absolutely shocking. What are you, what is going on in that? Look. Ask for a refund, you sent them back, so I assume you, you, you've actually just sent back exactly the same bloody product. This is absolutely Mickey Mouse. What is wrong with these people? Were they fit as people? Oh, mate. I don't know what to say. I really am lost for words. Absolute clowns. I really am lost for words here. What the bloody hell is going on at game.co.uk? What, what, what's that all about? Do they just, have they bought shares in the courier company or something? They just want to get the, sh oh, I'll, let's open the second one, honestly. But I'm, it's going to be the same, isn't it? It's just going to be, what the what these prats are doing is beyond me. On to the Pac-Man one. 
as you can see, the flap is done. So this is all, I'm 99.9% .9 sure, confident now, that all they've done, they've just got these in the warehouse and they've just, oh, I know, let's send them back to him again. Honestly, I think we couldn't make this up. Here we go. Guess what? Yep, exactly the same again. Hope the camera's picking up the slash mark. Shocking, diabolical. What the bloody hell are you doing as a company, people? Do not buy these products. Do not use game. Honestly, this is just shoddy. So there we have it. What can I say? Uh, for those that haven't seen the first video, I ordered these two arcade one-up barstools from game.co.uk. Do not use that company. Do stay tuned because I've got an update coming for you guys at the very end. So you might think the video's finished. It hasn't. There's an update for you guys. And um, they both come through with them slash marks that I just showed you. So obviously I sent them back. I requested a refund on my money because I thought I can't trust the company. I haven't had my refund, obviously. And uh, surprise, surprise, these got delivered back to me today. Why? A, I didn't want them back. I wanted a refund. And B, you just sent the same crap out. Arcade one up. Your quality control is obviously non-existent in the factories. I've heard good things about you guys from Americans because they say, but your, your support afterwards is very good. Well, that's great. But us UK people, we don't get that. Uh, Game.co.uk. You're just, a, I don't know what you're doing there. What's going on? You know what I mean? I know there's a lot of homeworking going on and I can only assume someone living, I don't know, in Dover is communicating with someone in Newcastle and someone in Newcastle is communicating with someone in Scotland and nothing's getting done. This is just, I sent them back to you via courier. You've sent them back to me via courier again. What is it? Just give me my money back, sort it out. Shocking. So what is the upshot of all this? Okay, I've been in contact with Arcade1Up and I've been in contact with Game.co.uk. First off, let's go to Game.co.uk. This is absolutely amazing. I personally cannot believe the service these guys are. It's a shocking company. You, once, you, once you see how they're responding to their customers, this is just amazing. Anyway, here's the web chat I had. Let's take a look. Firstly, the only real contact to speak to anyone at game is through this web browser or web chat. Uh, obviously no phone numbers. Uh, let's be honest, they don't want people phoning them. So first off, I speak to someone called Dane. Uh, this is not the first time I've used the web chat experience. So let's zoom in now and look at the conversation in total. So things kick off with a Dane. Um, hi, you're through to Dane today. How may I help you? I uh, returned 40 products and my refund has still not been received. When was this returned? I said a few weeks ago. And I have now just taken delivery of the same 40 products. This has been returned back to you yesterday. Yes, I just received them and they are both 40. That is why I sent them back for a refund, I said. Dane then told me it is the same items. After looking into this, it appears it wasn't damaged in transit. It was damaged by yourself. Now, I was really taken aback here. Sorry, I said. You've sold me two products that are faulty. Upon unboxing them, both were damaged. I want a full refund. Didn't get much of a response, so I then said, Hello? Just a moment, please. Then Mitchell comes on. Hello, Robert. This is Mitch speaking. It transpires that Mitch is the senior advisor here with Game Customer Service Team. OK, I said. Good. This needs sorting. Shocking customer service. So I thought, you know, Mitchell's here. He's going to sort this out. He's senior. Oh, how wrong I was. Mitch said, I can see that your order has been returned to you. Upon investigation, our returns team noted that the delivery box nor the product box was damaged. They deemed the damage done to be done after the items were delivered. Sadly, we are unable to accept these items back. I then said, So you're selling shoddy products online, sending them to customers as faulty, and then refusing to return my money as you say I did the damage. One, why would I damage the products? Two, you have sold me items that are not fit for purpose. I then say, Can you please supply me with the details for the Ombudsman for your industry as this needs to be taken further? Quite a delay. Mitchell, are you there? Mitchell then responds. 
Sadly, we will not be able to offer any further assistance on this matter. These have been assessed by our returns team and they will not be accepted. I then say, can you supply the details of the Ombudsman for your industry, please? He says, if you would like to raise this matter further, please do so. However, you will need to reach out to the Ombudsman if you wish to raise this further. Yes, I will, but... You have missold me products that are not fit for purpose and have refused me a refund. This is criminal and you have taken money for goods you have failed to supply in a fit order. Mitchell again. As stated, no damage was done to the product box or delivery box and we can confidently deem this damage done after they were delivered. I then say, how do I get my money back? And I'm asking again, can you please supply me details of the Ombudsman for your industry? Accidental damage is not covered within the 12 month product warranty. As stated, I say, I have not damaged them either, so I want a refund. I did not damage them. Sadly, we cannot provide you with these details. You would need to reach out to the Ombudsman if you wish to take this further. They arrived in that state, I said, so you cannot give me the details of the Ombudsman for your industry. How many times do I have to confirm this with them? I'm going to skip a little bit of the conversation because it's boring. It's just me repeating myself about the Ombudsman details and him making excuses. Uh, but continuing towards the end now. Mitchell then goes on to tell me about the complaints uh, department they have. All complaints are dealt with in-house and as a senior advisor I am part of the complaints team. However, we will not be taking this matter any further. Okay, I'll say, can I have your full name and job title etc so I can reference you in the complaint process. He then says, I cannot give you my full name due to data protection. However, my first full name is Mitchell. My job title, Senior Advisor, Game Custom Services. And then he goes on to remind himself it's data protection, uh, not date protection. Mitchell then goes on to supply me with a reference number, which I have uh, phased out for you guys. Uh, I then say, thanks Mitchell, as a Senior Complaints Advisor, can you tell me what I need to now do to get a full refund for not fit for purpose products? I was sold by your company. He said you may be able to contact your bank for a chargeback. This would be one option. As a Senior Complaints Advisor, you're not able to supply details of the Ombudsman, I ask? We are not regulated by the Ombudsman. As stated, all complaints are dealt with in-house here at GAME within the customer service team. I then explain to Mitchell my understanding is legally all companies in the UK are answerable to the Ombudsman and if I request their details to take this matter further you have to legally supply them? Question mark. So the game company does not have to supply these rules stroke laws do not apply applicable to your company. Can you confirm that this is the case please? Now I don't know the laws in and out but my understanding is what I just said there. Mitchell then informs me if I wish to take the matter up with the Ombudsman, please reach out directly to them. Again, he says, can you confirm, I ask, the details of the Ombudsman? He's unable to give these details. OK, Mitchell, I say, thank you for confirming that you do not have to, you do not have to supply these details. I'll be pursuing this matter further as you have sold me damaged goods and have accused me of damaging these items intentionally. This conversation goes back and forth, so I'm just going to skip to the end and then I'll summarise for you. I asked if there was anyone further I could talk to and uh, Mitchell informed me my team leader is above me. However, he's aware of this matter and he has stated this would be our final stance on the matter. We would not be taking this any further. I uh, thanked him for confirming this and I asked for the first name and title of the senior who confirmed they cannot go any further, please. And he said, that's Nath Nathaniel, the team leader. Um, I thanked him for his time, old Mitchell, uh, and I will you have to take this matter further. I'm genuinely shocked at the attitude of your customer support and lack of knowledge in regard to consumer rights and to accuse me of damaging items I ordered is just shocking. And finally, Mitchell, I understand your frustration, Robert. Have a good day. If you require any further assistance, please don't hesitate to contact us. I will now end this chat. Thank you for contacting us today. <sighs> Lost for words. Can you guys really honestly believe that? Now, obviously, this has really wound me up today. I don't get wound up about such things normally, but, you know, this says, to the point of, little old G, bless him, he went down the shop and he said, I've got a present for you, Dad, and he bought me four Bureau Moretti's. So thank you, son. It's much appreciated. But all in all, I don't know what to say. Game, shocking. Now, Arcade One Up, I looked them up online. I didn't realise, but they have a European um, call centre and it's based in the UK, so I phoned them up. I started to explain everything. Uh, and then they said to me, they went, stop there, drop everything in an email to us and we'll look at it. So to be honest, I'm holding a bit of faith in Arcade One Up as opposed to bloody game.co.uk who are a bunch of absolute c 
clowns do not deal with that, honestly. Ronald McDonald, now he was a proper clown. These guys, they could take him to clown school and teach him a thing or seven, honest. Absolutely shocking. Do not shop at game. I would, I'm avoiding their, their shops full stop. Uh, I will not be buying anything more online from them. Uh, for them to turn around and accuse you of, of ordering products, having them delivered and deliberately damaging them to send back to get money. Honestly, are people that stupid? Maybe not to shop there. But how do these, come, how do these big companies think they can come in, sell shoddy products, and it's like, not our fault. We're not bothered. We've got your money now. And that's exactly how these, these people are operating. So don't go giving you your money, honestly. Don't go to their shops. Don't shop online. No matter how good the deal seems, you're wasting your time, your money. Now, as I said, I hope 1UP Arcade come through for me because I've, I've got no faith in them absolute cowboys. They're just robbers. At least, I'll tell you what, Robin would put a mask on, mate, when he, when he held people up. These guys are just absolute clowns. <sighs> So I'm really sorry it's been a really negative video and everything, but just don't use that company. I'll tell you what, I'm going to be going on Twitter and their Facebook feed and all that, and uh, on certain posts, I'll be letting people know the absolute truth about this company. That's bad business. Uh, the ombudsman for the industry, uh, not that there is one for them, according to them. They're saying that they don't have to abide by it, but I'm sure you don't. But at the end of the day, that tells you their business morals. If they're not even going to sign up and be, you know, to a, a, a agency that monitors that you're a good customer relations and they're not even signing up or being part of that, that tells you a big thing about that company. Avoid this company, honestly, shocking. I just think there's parents out there at Christmas time and all that sort of thing. They'll be going in to buy their consoles for their kids. Don't, seriously don't. Because if you get one that's broken, they'll just turn around and say, well, sorry, you did that yourself. Don't, honestly, just don't be buying anything from these guys. Don't support them. Do not support them. I'm, I will not be treading foot in their stores again. I really will not. Anyway, I'm really sorry, guys. Do not buy anything from game.co.uk or their physical stores. They're horrendous. They're shocking. They're absolute cowboys, honestly. They are, they're just, oh, I'm really sorry to carry on like this. But I've taken a week off work and I've had that that's wasted a day on them bloody clowns. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys are having a better week than me. Uh, but like I say, little OG come through for me. So there is a bit of, bit of light at the end of the tunnel. So let me know, guys, in the comments, please, um, your experiences. If you've had any shocking game uh, results, etc., do let me know. I'll be putting this on with Twitter and all that sort of stuff. Get on board with me, guys. If you like, I would really appreciate it. Don't shop at game. Cheers, guys. You've been cool. I've been happier days, but I've got a few beers, and I'm breathing, and my family are happy, and, you know, everything's good. But I am owed £129, but no, I did it to myself, apparently. Shocking. What can I say? I could swear, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm more professional than that. Laters.